Tinder. Tinder. <laughs> <laughs> we're both on Tinder, sitting across the room from each other. <laughs> and he came up and I was like, oh shit. Like, super liked. <laughs> what can you do? He mentioned he played bass one time, so that was in the back of my mind. Me and Paul made some noise. He was like, let's have, you know, it's like girlfriends being like, oh, my boyfriend plays music, she get together. And then, like, we got together, we played drums, and I just went, <laughs> with loads of noise, and he didn't know what to do with it, if I remember correctly. Should we play a song, maybe? You know, <laughs> Please. Um, and then time passed, and I met some, some other friends, and then, you know, some fell by the wayside of, like, being able to do it. I got in touch with Paul again. This time I had a bassist, so it, it clicked. Um, and, uh, yeah, and then slowly over time, we've, had a couple of bases, some people falling in and out. But now I think since September, Jason joined, and we've we've got a kind of um, we're, we're focusing on a bit of a style. I mean, it's, it's rock and roll and stuff, but like you can't take it seriously anymore. It's kind of it's done, isn't it? So you just sort of take all the cliches and try and make fun with it as best you can. Yeah, can you share a little bit about the tracks that you performed today? Like, how yes, they came I can. About? I'm glad you asked that question. <laughs> Um, we, uh, I, I sort of, I sort of write a basis of a riff and a song, and then I go, I've got this. Can you help me out? Can you finish it off? And then we get together and slowly push it together into a, in a song. And then recently I had this uh, idea I've always wanted to do, kind of like nicking from people that I've seen before. And um, we throw a mic in the kick drum, and so like the middle bit is like kick drum mic into my amp through a load of pedals. We've got a pitch shifter pedal here. Got a vintage delay, just bay ringer, 20 quid, fab distortion, 15 euros, bosh. Um, and then this is, and so you, then, you, then you get this great guitar sound and this cool kind of, you know, depending on what amp you got, it was a bit different today, but you can't always be in your safety zone. Um, and that was really fun, and that like, adds another aspect to it. It's performative, it's interesting, it's always different. Um, there's something that can go wrong constantly, and I think that's always fun. What we, we do with our stuff, there's always like an element that you can screw up, and uh, that's what I like to see more so than people doing a perfect set. Is, do you feel like being part of this, this community has contributed somehow to artistic growth? Yeah. Is it, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm handling a lot more physical things than I usually do. Um, <laughs> I touch a lot more things than I usually do, um, and uh, and I didn't think that I'd be like flying my bass guitar over from America anytime soon. I honestly hadn't touched it in like four years. They had some um, rusty old strings on those things. Yeah, there's a lot of dead skin. Yeah, on it. they're really nasty. A lot of corrosion. It's pretty filthy. We're gonna change those ASAP. I don't think so. But um, <laughs> <laughs> There's an enthusiasm and like an actual um, like effortful deployment that goes into creating things and believing in things. Um, and I feel like that's a lot more positive than any other environment that I've been in before. Yeah, it's a good crew. Like, you, you get along. It's, uh, I think they're all equally mates. It's a bit cheesy, but it's true. We all have a laugh, so it's like... Um, and that kind of like you <coughs> encourage each other creatively in that respect as well. Um, I've worked with loads of people and like a lot of staff have got a session on Sunday with a load of people as well and I've done previous ones, just want to meet up and have fun. You can use the studios and you always learn something new. You learn from the students as well and you, you have to help them out. Like this is problem that's happened. You're like, I have no idea how to fix this. And you do, like you find out the answer. <laughs> What does the future hold for Palm Squirrel? EP coming out on <laughs> March 21st. Release show. <laughs> Urban Spree. Um, <laughs> be there. It's getting babysitting. Records birthday. <laughs> Brat. What advice would you give to somebody who's maybe looking to be in a similar position to what you are now or maybe thinking about Study music, join a band. Any pieces of advice? It. I think I think there's like any anyone who's who's got a taste of actually getting on and doing it. It's like, oh, you've just got to get on and do it. You've just got to do it. Like as simple as that. You got you got a camera phone. You want to make a film? Like do that. 
Like, it's so simple. Um, and it's the fear that stops you from doing stuff. Just get stuck in. Like, it's really just sod it. What else are you going to do? Not make it. That's boring. So just get, get, get on with it. Like, um, you want to be in a band? Find someone who plays over something else and play with them. And do it a lot, as much as you can, and enjoy yourself. Like, um, yeah, just get on with it. Stop making excuses. Have fun.